वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड आई एम योर होस्ट महेश कारिया यूर वॉचिंग मी ऑन यूट्यूब लाइव सो दिस इज माई वेरी फर्स्ट वीडियो बेस्ड ऑन प्लेज अवे असेंबली सो दिस इज समथिंग दैट अलाउज यू टू राइट योर सी शॉप कोड इन टू योर क्लाइंट साइड सो टूडे वी आर गोन क्रिएट काइंड ऑफ रेस्टफुल ए पी आई स्वैगर इम्प्लीमेंटेशन एंड कंप्लीट क्रूड ऑपरेशन सो लेट्स डीप डाइव इन टू इट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू हैवन डाउनलोडेड डॉट नेट कोड ऑलरेडी सो यू कैन रैब योर पैकेज फ्रॉम हियर डॉट कोड एंड Inside here, dot net dot microsoft dot com. Inside download section, you'll find your package for your system. This is allowed. This is uh, available for Windows, Linux, uh, Docker, Mac OS. Currently, I am on Mac. Uh, the next thing is we are going to use Visual Studio Code. If you haven't downloaded that, you can grab this from here. Uh, code dot visual studio dot com. This is available for all the platforms. This is very lightweight. You can use Visual Studio as well. This is all up to you. After installation, uh, you can open your terminal and simply type for .NET hyphen hyphen version, and uh, you'll get your current version over there. Version. Currently, I'm working on three one three double o. In future, you might be working on something else, but the code will be the same, maybe. So uh, after that, you can create new folder on your desktop and simply name it uh, like. I'm gonna name it uh, full stack, I guess. Okay. After that, open your editor and drag this folder. Open your integrated terminal from here, and simply type for .NET new Blazor version hyphen hyphen hosted. Uh, hyphen hyphen pwa for progressive web app support and hosted is uh, something that allows you to uh, create a full stack application in dot net only so there is no need to write javascript anymore so i got three folders client server and shared uh, this is uh, shared is something that you can share code between client and server so i'm going to create a new file over here user.cs and before uh, that you have to install something extensions for uh, your visual studio code first one is c sharp uh, next one is uh, c sharp extensions and this one c sharp snippets this is very essential i highly recommend you guys to install this uh, extension after that you can create a new file over here and uh, namespace full stack dot shared i don't know i am not getting suggestion wait full stack dot shared okay public class user and prop property int capital i small d another one prop tab string name again string email last one is my password i guess and you have to import something using system so this class is inside system string so that's it for now now you can create new folder inside so models and create user context dot cs before proceeding now uh, you have to install few packages uh, like i am going to install dot pict add package microsoft dot entity framework core uh, you can define version if you want to like this and if you know the version but uh, otherwise it will automatically get the current version so i made a mistake i guess dot net add package microsoft entity framework core yes m i c r o 
एस ओ एफ टी एन टी आई टी वाई फॉर ए एम ई डब्ल्यू आर के फेम ऑफ कोर्स तो Let's see. Okay, could not find project. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, you have to change your directory into server. CD into server. After that, you can uh, add your package. The next one is uh, Entity Flavor Core dot Design and dot SQLite. We are going to use SQLite for that. After that, okay. Next thing is dot SQ SQLite. and the most important uh, thing is you have to install entity framework core uh, entity framework globally so design okay and uh, now check for that dot net ef fn fn version if you get this version then it's fine otherwise you have to install this dot net to install global what dot net hyphen ef enter so if you already have it i don't know tool this is tool i already have it otherwise you have to install it after that i am able to create my user context so you can write this dot net ef this is it gives you suggestion if you have this uh, extension uh, snippets c sharp snippets and uh, now i have to import this using full stack dot shared and uh, enter your class name here user and provide name for it users that's it for now now inside my controller i have to create a new controller when uh, create controller like this anything file like new c sharp class and name it user controller enter and you will get your code so before proceeding you can write this api controller and you will get your snippet here enter so now you can uncomment this section full stack dot models i guess so you have to change here inside models here full stack dot server dot models okay now we are ready to go after that i have to import something we we'll see that later okay now the first thing is user context so create a user context private user context user context after that inside constructor pass user context and save it here inside user context so that's it for now so uh, inside get method we have to pass list of users so in return list of user here in return user context dot users dot queue list so now i have to import something using my full stack dot shared so I got this class. Another one is get single user. While editing, I need a single user. So here you can pass single user by this thing. Users dot first or default. You we have to find that particular uh, user by his ID. If the ID of user is equals to 
the ID that I have and then we can return this user the next thing is post uh, while uh, posting you have to pass user over here and inside user context inside users then I can add this user here so after that make sure to save changes before proceeding and after that you can return that particular user if you want to uh, we'll do validation part later this is phase one action result in return we are passing user so this is my user that's it for now if we post something user then we need two things first one is id of user another thing is that object so for that i have to again i have to find for that particular user whose id is equals to my id and if i got this user then you can store new user then inside new user dot name you can assign the users parameters again new user dot email equals user dot email again new user dot password is equal to users password after that make sure to save changes user context dot save changes and if everything is all right then you can pass user in return if you want to otherwise it's fine so in here you can return that particular new user after changes that you have just made after that while deleting you just need to delete that particular user so again we have to find that user i guess uh, if i got user over here like this as usual and then i have to save this old user here if everything is all right then if we got user and then we can remove this user user dot remove i guess i have to pass this old user over here you can perform validation if you want to but this is very beginner friendly video user context dot user dot remove what okay i don't know why i'm getting this error uh, okay spelling mistake old user i'm extremely sorry for that old user uh, after that that's it for now now inside your startup we have to make some changes we have to import something microsoft.entity framework core and the last thing is we have to add few packages one package only uh slash hotel SWSH buckle dot ASP net core. Now uh, this is something that allows you to provide a graphical user interface for your RESTful API. So there is no need to use a Postman. So this is cool. So I have to import this using slash buckle dot ASP net core, and inside here you can add services dot add div context and you will be listed you will get this thing 
here you have to pass that user context I'm not getting this I have to import this thing here uh, using full stack dot server dot models I guess yes and I have to use SQL light here here SQL okay now I have to set this default connection inside here before that I have to add slash bucket services dot add slash swagagen uh, inside here I have to set create object dot swagit talk and pass two parameters first one is version I guess and another one is width another one is new open API info I don't know any w open API info first one is version is v1 another one is title title is full stack full stack api i don't know this is version or, or title whatever it may be it's fine for now and the, the next thing i have to add here app dot use swagger and ui app dot use swagger ui uh, that's it create object and set endpoint over here swagger endpoint and pass two parameters first one is swagger hyphen slash v1 slash swagger dot json and another one is your title full stack api i guess that's it for now now inside my application setting i have to add this connection string connection strings not connection string now here default connection is data source is full stack dot db after that dot net build if everything is all right i'll get zero errors and zero warnings if something gets wrong you'll get your errors over here it will take some time for the first time For now I got zero errors over here so now I'm able to create dotnet ef migrations add initial grid enter it will create a folder of migration inside here inside server <coughs> excuse me okay so i got this folder inside here migration after that i can update my database dot net yes database update so it will create a file of full stack dot, dot db here inside server so okay i got this after that you can start your server by this command dot net run or dot net watch run if you don't want to restart server for after each updition so you can use dot net watch run 
uh, localhost colon 5001 I guess okay it's fine we made some mistake I guess okay so this is my basic uh, client side UI of uh, blazer and if you write this slash swagger then you will get this this API over here this get method inside you can try this execute this you will get this empty array after that you can post something over here by this clicking here try it out and post here my name is Mahesh my email id is maheshkarya at gmail.com and after that my password is mahesh23 after execution you will get this object over here again i can check this now i got one entry inside my array so everything is fine now we can proceed for the further process another thing now inside my client folder we have to create new page users not user.cs users.cs uh, i have to using sorry first of all the page we have to set path over you here users another thing is at user i'm going to use a full stack i am extremely sorry well, this is razor i know you no. razor so full stack dot shared and i have to inject my HTTP client over here so now I can type this thing malicious back code now here you can create a um, new folder protected async task uh, on initialized you can get this here inside that I can copy this thing if you want to you can otherwise you can type this thing so on initialized async this is the method uh, which is responsible for the which calls for the first time when your page loads for the first time okay so I can remove this now. This is my ID. This is my name. This is my email. This is my password. I don't have to show password, but for the testing, you can change this thing by clicking here. Right click on this and change all occurrences. User. After that. You can change this thing ID. Another thing is name, email, password. So, and here you can use user, and here the array of user. make sure this is your path api slash user that's it for now again you need to restart your server if you have this solution uh, then uh, let me know inside the comment section i don't want to restart my server for after each updation in client side while i'm working on client side sorry for that slash users I will get my user over here I guess if everything is alright
I'm getting error, I guess. I don't know why I'm getting this. Oh, it's fine. Fish data, sorry. I have to change this. Users. Oh no. Inside here. Share. Inside now menu. You can add this parts to your menu. Here. Users. I don't need this anymore. You can remove this. You can delete this user from here. Fresh data. I don't need this counter. You can delete this. And inside index, it's fine. Now, you can remove this counter from here. And restart your server. Okay, this is taking time than usual. That's fine. I'm not going to pause this video. I want it to be very transparent to you all this. So I got this uh, very first entry here. here. Uh, after that. You can add two buttons here. First one is as usual, as usual, uh, edit. And next thing is delete. In here, add button. Plus is BTN, BTN, SM, BTN, family, and add on click. I have to post my user, submit user. So, no, oh, sorry, not submit user, edit user. So, I'll do it later. RPDIT uh, edit. that's it for now i guess yes and uh, the next thing is delete okay delete now i have to create a new user while private user our new user is equals to new user and now I can use this over here so I have to create a row inside that I can create my column call lg 6 into 2 sorry 6 into 2 here uh, you can write your input fields like input input and uh, placeholder is name and class is form control um okay add bind value new user dot name so the next thing is i have to add margin on bottom of three otherwise you can add dr break line this is not good email password and the last thing is I have to add button for submit user so at on click you can add submit user and add class 
btn btn block and btn primary that's it for now now we can wrap this sorry this table inside here okay now I have to create a new method over here private ac task mm. submit submit user if everything is correct then uh, I'm able to do this awit alright http dot post user async of type user and pass url here dps slash user and after that you can update uh, on initialized async method you can call this method but before that i have to make sure that everything is alright i made some mistake here i guess okay you you have to pass two parameters a path and new user the next thing is you can use delete method over here inside here is uh, at on click you can add delete user over here so no sorry i have to use this thing act this inside this you can create your function and now uh, call this method delete user and inside that uh, you can pass your parameter so at user dot id i guess uh, this is perfect that's it for now next thing you have to create your method over here delete user i don't know delete user you can pass your id for here int id and if everything is ordered then you can you can write this thing all right http dot delete sync and here api slash user slash you have to concatenate that particular id so you need to convert this thing into string okay that's it for now so i have to restart my server if this is right okay let's see restart your server taking uh, too much of time than usual but it's fine okay now you can refresh your page and you will keep this button over here delete so I don't know this is not proper I'll make this right now we can remove this thing so we prompt and i don't need this anymore but it's fine so if i enter something name email at gmail.com on demo so after that so delete is not working i have to see that on this okay after deletion you have to uh, restart your update your uh, component here inside pages users
dot on initialize this so it's working before proceeding enter no. enter email enter password so now the next thing is I need to create a variable of type bool, boolean add it for the first time this is false okay and here I don't click you can create new function inside that you can call uh, get user get user of that particular id if it is perfect then in here you can create get user and pass id here await http dot get json async of type user from user uh, api slash user slash id dot to string we have to convert this thing okay this is perfect i guess uh, i have to check this i made some mistakes over here on uh, get user get user is perfect i must run Yeah, this is perfect why i'm getting this okay at the rate now my error is gone okay the next thing is while submitting your user here i have to check for my id if edit is equal to equal to false then only you can submit this as a post method otherwise you can do this await http dot as json async that user and uh, inside that api slash user uh, slash i guess um, id i guess i don't know um user new user okay new user dot id and next thing is new user itself so this is fine this is perfect i guess another thing again on initialized async you don't need to write this thing two times but it's so fine this is very beginner friendly video so you don't have to okay so now i can okay okay while getting this get user i have to save this inside new user so this is perfect now yes this is perfect okay let's see 
again restart your server if everything is alright then you can use a font or some uh, CDN link if you want to okay again restart your and click here edit you will get this here update this okay on initialized I have to change this I made some mistake okay I made some mistake okay wait for it okay I got this you have to when we get user single user then it means edit is equal to true okay and uh, here if here if everything is alright then edit is equal to false false and now new user will be empty user we have to empty that fields here uh, I guess here as well maybe okay so check that out this is perfect I guess this is a mistake I have made now okay it's working okay. when I edit this thing so after that we can do this that's it for now this is working the small mistake I have made here you can write type here type text you can use normal HTML things over here email if you want to perform validation you can it's all up to you so thank you very much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time uh, if you like this video then please make sure to subscribe this video thank you so much bye bye